Uh, the time is now 9.01. Uh, I'm calling to order the Public Works Committee meeting for Tuesday, December 5th, 2023. Can I get a roll call, please? Chair Garcia? Here. Vice Chair Ozog? Here. Member Cahill? Here. Member Desart? Here. Member Galassi? Here. Member Zay? Here. Uh, under Chairwoman's remark, um, uh, just to let you know that uh, January 2nd, we will not be having a meeting, so you can cancel that. I know everyone's going to be disappointed about that. Um, if you want to come here, you can come here and talk public works if you choose to do so. Uh, I will not be here, though. Um, Neither will the vice chair. No. Um, also, I wanted to mention that the... Um, Work, I believe, started started back up uh, yesterday, I believe, on the solar arrays, although I'm not sure the weather is cooperating today. We haven't had sun five days, but who's solar. counting? <laughs> <laughs> you, you're going to Arizona. Yeah, the sun will come back, or you can just bring it back. We sure hope so. We're not yeah. going to see any, are we? Work should be done in six weeks. Um, are you offering? No, no. January 9th, the, 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 there will be the solar presentation by the people who donated the money for that, uh, the county board meeting. So just to make sure you mark that and be there for that. Thank them for that. Um, can I, so we do have someone here for public comment today. We have Dave Marcus from Dark Skies. Um, if you want to get up, you can stand up here and so I can see you. Yeah. Yeah, they're up here this time. And uh, camera's over there. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm Dave Barkas, a resident of Wheaton, and I'm with Dark Sky Chicago. And uh, I'm here just to give some ideas or thoughts. You guys are early adopters of LED conversion. And with early adopters, there's two things that they've been doing. Uh, they've been moving to warm LEDs because the original LEDs provide more glare, more uh, scatter, and some issues with the circadian rhythm. Uh, so move to warm LEDs. Most cities, large cities, actually converted and spent the extra money. Uh, Seattle, they put it into their code where when they replace the lights, they go with warmer as they need to replace the lights. It takes a long time, but that's how they wanted to do it. Uh, the other one is uh, dimming. Even though 50% of all municipalities have already started conversion, only 10% use dimming. Dimming shown to save an equal amount of money to the initial conversion. Uh, there's a woman, Nancy Clayton, who did a study on the West Coast that confirmed that you can dim the 50% and people can't see it, which means you can save 50% of your cost again when you use dimming schedules. For every hour dim, you save 50% if you go there. Uh, and it also means that you extend the life of your LEDs. If you extend the life, then you reduce the maintenance cost as well. So there's a lot of good things about that. And I'd say the new goal, if you use dimming, or if you use adaptive controls, is to save between 80 and 90% of the cost that you incurred before you started conversion. So there's a lot more money to be had. That's it. Thank you, Dave. Okay, so let's move on to the approval of the minutes. Looking for a motion to approve 24-0023 Public Works Committee meetings, regular meeting of Tuesday, November 21st, 2023. Then a motion to second your discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Moving on to consent item. Uh, looking for motion to approve 24-0030. Public Works Dynamic Industrial recommendation to approve a contract time extension to June 30th, 2024, due to a delay in lead time on the installation of expansion joints on the Green Road Water Tower. So moved. Second. A motion? Second. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Looking for a motion to approve 24-0031 payment of claims, public works, and facilities management. So moved. Sorry. Motion to second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? And approved. Looking for a motion to approve the joint purchasing agreement of FMP 000124. Uh, recommendation to approve a contract to train U.S. Inc. to provide a comprehensive Second. overhaul of the water-cooled centrifugal du duplex chiller at the power plant. Well, that's a mouthful. For the period of December 12, 2023 through November 30, 2024, for a contract total amount not to exceed $180,827. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion on this? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 
Moving on to look for a motion to approve FMP 00024 recommendation for the approval of a contract purchase order to WW Granger Inc. to furnish and deliver miscellaneous maintenance, oh, repair, and operation parts and supplies as needed for county facilities for the period of January 1st. 2024 through December 31st, 2024, for facilities management for total contract amount not to exceed $82,000. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Moving on to bid awards, looking for a motion to approve FMP 00324, recommendation for the approval of a contract to Amber Mechanical <laughs> Contractors Inc. for the JTK HVAC replacement project for facilities management for the period of December 12th, 2023 through November 30th, 2025, for a total contract amount not to exceed $5,314,150. Motion to approve. Motion, second. Okay, uh, I just want to uh, say that this is a fantastic project. Uh, these units are over 50 years old, as we know, in this building. So uh, well uh, in need of replacement. Uh, the work is supposed to, believe, I believe, begin in the fall of 2024. The lead time for the units is, is massive. So by awarding it now, work with Amber, they will order the, the units, I mean, easily five, six months before the units even arrive. So... This is great that we're able to award it now. Yeah. <clears throat> I have a question. Do we have any idea how much cost savings we'll have with the energy efficiency from the new units? We haven't done those numbers. We will be working with night for rebates. Okay. One of the bigger ones that really helps us is actually it's the fans, the variable speed fans. Right now, the fans are either on or off the roller, so they can go at half speed, et cetera. Okay. So that'll help a lot, along with that, the natural gas. That'll help as well. Clearly, I mean, a 50-year-old system, you, you are going to have savings, and we will quantify that as we move forward. We have the exact units and everything. We'll work with the contractor to get the rebates, and that will we are required to identify that. I'm sure it'll be a savings of some sort. And hopefully, we won't be freezing in the in the winter and vice versa. So um, that would be nice. So, I do you have a question. Oh, sorry. Yes, Speaking about you. freezing, I assume this, I don't really need to ask this question, but this will be phased in so that we're not turning. There's, there's four place. units in the building. They'll be done in series, correct? Mm -hmm. no and and that's, that's we, why we, it's going to take a We're going to do the comfort zone, I, yeah. I, I mean, to be honest, but no, it, it will uh, operate to continue. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons being done in the fall, I believe, correct? correct. Right. So we're that's trying to do when the ambient air is. You, you have two times you could do it. You can do it in the spring or do it in the fall, basically. Transition. Transition. I mean, it will be, it's not going to be ideal in here, but the building will be operational while we're doing it. Uh, and we've done it in many other buildings and it, it isn't, you are outside of your comfort zone, but, you know, we try to minimize that. Question, yeah, my question is, um, it says partial ARPA item. I'm wondering what the percentage is. So if you remember, we are, there's several funding. Um, we have ARPA, both with what we, we swept out of the remaining facilities management, as well as the board allocated some additional ARPA. And then we also have uh, within facilities management, you have that money available and you have surplus from 2023. If I remember, it's about close to 50-50 with ARPA, non-ARPA, if I remember. And then we can get you the exact right. numbers, but it's it was yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 I, it's I, close I to 50-50. Yeah. Um, and then my other question I, that I just asked, <coughs> you brought this up, you said the lead time is massive. Is that due to supply chain issues? It is just the, the unit, yes. The, everybody is doing HVAC projects across the, the country. But, you know, these units in particular, they've always taken a while to produce because it's not like they have these sitting on a shelf. I mean, right. they produce them and they come there, but we planned it as part of our project. Okay. That's why we fit it when we did. Okay. All right. So we've got a motion. I believe we have a motion to second on that. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Exciting stuff. Okay. Moving. Uh, looking for a motion to approve 24 0032. A uh, recommendation for approval of a contract to Best Technology S Systems, Inc. to provide pistol range so maintenance services and repairs as needed for the Sheriff's Office for facilities management for a two-year period of December 6, 2023 through December 5, 2025 for a total contract amount not to exceed $19,380. We've got a motion in a second. I did want to say that this is the cleanup in case you didn't, uh, cleanup of the lead in, I believe, the gun range, mm -hmm. if I'm 
understand? Yeah. And uh, I get asked this question that uh, hazmat uh, outfits are required for this, and the lead is actually recycled, which then saves on the cost. So we're getting some recycling out of that too. So um, I will tell you this: this price of we have had this contract every year since the pistol range has been in service. Um, different contractors, but this is actually a really good price. I I was surprised at the the price that we received on. Okay, so we've got a motion to second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Any old business to discuss? Well, we Tim has either old or new. Yes, I'm not today. sure which one mm -hmm. it would be under. Today is Harry's birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. No need to do the zero in it. That's all I can say. <laughs> it is a special 20. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I don't know about the use of the word old. No, right. That's why I say, is it new business or? I'm just saying. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kathy. Happy birthday. 30 okay. is a big milestone. Any other business? Should we stand up and sing? Do, uh, Lucy. Yeah, I don't, I think it's new business though. I just wanted to share an email that we got thanking Public Works for all the work that they've done. I got an email from a resident in District 3. She says, I would like to thank the Public Works Department a friendly DuPage Public Works Department employee alert, alerted me in person this afternoon with a knock on my door that I had a continuous flow status of my water meter and suggested possible causes. This prompted me to check my outdoor hoses and correct a leaky nozzle. I would not have known about the issue for possibly days or weeks without the alert. So I greatly appreciate the prompt outreach by the Department of Public Works. Um, so thank you to everybody who yeah. works in public. And I will just to follow up on that. And Sean and Stan have been phenomenal. This relates back, if you remember, we replaced all the meters in the system yeah. um, over the last couple of years. And now the metrics that we're receiving off of those are amazing. And we can pick up leaks or increased usage or more importantly, usage from if we see flow, continuous flow from like two to three in the morning, we know something. So things like that, we now have the capability and we're alerting actively. Our meter readers are actively alerting our customers to, hey, you've got something going on here. You need to check. That's wonderful. That's great. That's great. That's yeah, great. Much and I love, that our staff, <laughs> I love that our staff is proactive in that way. So thank you so much, Stan and your staff and uh, Sean and your staff. And the added benefit is our bills from the water commission are now cheaper because we have less water, too. <laughs> hey, no, anything to help you. <laughs> and I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas from this committee. I know we'll be seeing each other at the county board, but I want to hopefully... Uh, any holiday you celebrate, I hope it is a happy one for you and your families. So, um, uh, any other business? No, then uh, we stand adjourned. That's technology, so I guess it's better than average.